We're going to get to this breaking news. The North Carolina Senate just voted to override Governor Roy Cooper's veto of new abortion restrictions. This was expected. The bill would ban most abortions after 12 weeks with some exceptions. Now, what we don't know is going to happen yet is in the House. The House expected to vote sometime after 8 o'clock tonight. We know most uh, believe that it will manage to override the, uh, the veto on the Republican side, but Democrats are trying hard to get at least one Republican vote. So groups on both sides of the abortion issue rallying inside the state legislature as we speak right now and as the voting will continue into the night. That's right. Let's get to CBS 17's Lillian Donahue, who's joining us live from the General Assembly. Lillian. Yeah, it's been a long afternoon. It's going to be a longer afternoon for both pro and anti-abortion groups. You can still see people behind me waiting for this veto override to make its way to the state house. But, you know, this didn't stop both groups from making their voices heard and exercising their right to protest and rally today. Multiple pro-abortion groups gathered outside the General Assembly Tuesday saying even if the veto is overridden, they'll remember today's decision with their votes in 2024. The groups outside also rallied against other bills that were introduced this year that they said hurt trans people, drag queens, and immigrants. This was organized primarily around drag, but the main message is that all of these issues are interconnected. Meanwhile, anti-abortion groups gathered inside praising the bill's funding for women and children as well as the abortion restrictions they say will save thousands of babies a year. Well, when it comes to life, life is precious because life is a gift of God. It's not ours to take. So what's next? They're going to be here for a long, a lot longer tonight as the House is set to take up that veto override at 8 o'clock. Now, the Senate debated back and forth for about over an hour. Of course, we're expecting the House to go a little bit longer. We're going to stay on top of this, keep you updated both on air and online. Reporting from the General Assembly, Lillian Donahue, CBS 17 News. All right, Lillian, thanks for that. And just so you know, the... Uh final vote in the Senate was 30 to 20, straight along party mm -hmm. lines with a total of 50 there, so 30-20. Going over to the House, as I mentioned before, Lillian, one vote will stop this veto from uh, being overridden, but Republicans very confident they do right. have the votes. We'll continue to follow it, That's of right. course. And